my LinkedIn and my Nokri profiles were still not up to date. So I was sending out resumes, I was sending applications through portals and all of that, but not getting any hits. So I was not being shortlisted for some reason. And then I realized that my CV was, although it had the right kind of content, the way in which it was put up was not right. I did not get inbound calls at first, so I checked all of that. The very important thing that I started looking at was the metrics on my profiles, the views and the kind of uh, keywords that the recruiters were looking for. So I tried to tailor my CV in that order and I tried to use all of those keywords in a more efficient manner on my profiles as well. And then I started getting hits from the recruiters. So I think they went up by about 500% my recruiter hits on no uh-huh. just because, tuning the keywords right and yeah. just making yeah. sure you are attracting right jobs i mean which are yeah. right for you yeah exactly thank you for all the advice thank you for the support the community has given me so far not just harshad but all of the community when i needed help with my resume worded there were many people who helped me great to have this community hi yash Sir? welcome to champion achievers hot seat this is where we celebrate our champion success stories. So, Yash, congratulations for finishing you. your job search journey and being here on this prestigious hot seat. Thank you. Thank you, Harshad. Uh, well, I'm Yash Karmarkar, as Harshad already said. I have a little over two years of experience in biopharmaceutical quality control. Uh, I was working at DK Biopharma Private Limited before. And I had quit that job due to some personal reasons. I had an opportunity to start my own business, which didn't work because I feel I was a little under skilled, less informed about how all of that process works. So I was started looking for a job and that's when I joined the community. And this was, I think... May of last year. So I've been here for a year. Okay. So and... let's rewind ourselves to May, uh, Yash. When you started yeah. thinking about job search, what was the problem you were facing? Why you couldn't do it yourself or wh- where you needed help? Uh, my previous job, I was a fresher. So it was very easy to get hired. So I just had a basic resume, a basic LinkedIn profile where they could see where I had studied and all of that. It wasn't very detailed. I had no information on my LinkedIn profile, just the university that I had studied at. Nothing about what I'd studied, nothing about what I did there. Even my CV was very, because I had not worked before. I had an internship experience, which was like a project-based internship. So I had information about that one project, which was not relevant to most recruiters because it was something that was a very niche research kind of thing. So when I joined, my, the first company didn't really care because they knew that they had to train me with everything that I was going to do, irrespective of where I was coming from. When I was starting to look for my next role, I already had some expertise within the industry. So I had to somehow incorporate that into my CV, but I had realized that I was lagging in doing that in putting it up on LinkedIn or in mentioning it in my CV in a structured manner where it would be highlighted to the recruiters, I wasn't doing all of that. So I quickly realized that this was what I had to work on. And then I started slowly doing that. So I had a decent enough CV by the, I think the end of August or or September maybe of 2023 and then but my linkedin and my knockery profiles were still not up to date so i was sending out resumes i was sending applications through portals and all of that but not getting any hits so i was not being shortlisted for some reason and then i realized that my cv was although it had the right kind of content the way in which it was put up was not right so the language use wasn't correct. The phrasing wasn't correct. Maybe there were some errors, some typographical errors, which would look bad when you first looked at a resume, which, which, 
I think sort of led to not yes them not being shortlisted. So then you corrected all your online profiles, resume as well as online yes. profiles. Yeah. And then did you start getting inbound calls? Did you apply to a lot of jobs or you so, worked? What strategies worked in your uh, case? I did not get inbound calls at first. So I checked all of that. The, the very important thing that I started looking at was the metrics on my profiles, the views. Yes. And the kind of uh, keywords that the recruiters were looking for. So I tried to tailor my CV in that order and I tried to use all of those keywords in a more efficient manner on my profiles as well. Uh, and then I started getting hits from the recruiters. So I think they went up by about 500% <laughs> my recruiter hits on no clue. Uh-huh. Just because, tuning the keywords, right? And yeah, just making yeah. sure you are attracting right jobs. I mean, which are yeah, right for you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So then I got a couple of calls. So this was, I think, a couple of months after I had tuned it. And then I was actually tuning it as we go, right? So whenever I could, uh, whenever I found a job opportunity that I liked, I went through the JD very Mm -hmm. meticulously. And I understood what keywords they were using. And then I made it a point to somehow mention it if it it wasn't relevant then i wouldn't do it but if it was there was no harm in just i just maybe thought to myself how i could use that word in my cv yes could i somehow tailor my experience into fitting into that role yes i don't know if i'm putting this correctly but yes if yeah so i could I was just trying to imagine myself doing that particular thing. If it wasn't skill-based, wow. if it was something. Wow. So wow. if I could do it, then I could find a way to somehow mention it in my CV or in my profile so that the recruiter knows. That's a because, great uh, input, Yash, that many people try to just fit in forcefully the keyword. Yeah. And it doesn't make a sense, right? I mean, and recruiters will not even understand, especially hiring managers will not understand looking at the same resume. I think yeah. you made sure that you, I mean, you must have worked there, but you probably didn't highlight it in your p- previous resume. Yeah. Now, yeah. as if you are working on that technology or something, you Correct. wrote it that way on your resume Correct. so Correct. that it fit well in the sentence and uh, it came out also. And did you write, uh, even a- as a two-year experience level, could you write output-driven or uh, numbers or metrics or anything like this right. because at as of at at a such a junior level it becomes a little difficult. Yeah. How could you? How did you solve that problem? So I, with my reporting manager at my previous role, I had developed an assay, which was, which, inherently led to cost reductions. So the okay. previous method that we were using, was a little resource intensive. And with this new method, we were using a micro tighter plate. So the volumes had reduced 200 fold. Okay. From the previous assay. So that was a clear cost reduction. If we were to implement that assay into our regular testing in the line, we could get cost reductions. Similarly, uh, we had also developed or optimized a couple of other assays as well within the team, not just myself. So then I used that to crudely calculate how much cost we would save. It was not an exact tangible metric because I never could give them proof that this much cost was reduced because of that assay being implemented because it was never done in my tenure. But I could understand if, say, for example, you are using 200 ml for a particular thing and you would only then have to use 0.5 ml. That's a significant reduction so, so it was estimated you can say it was yeah. projected but still yeah. uh, your work did that yes yeah. absolutely so i mentioned Amazing. Amazing. similar things and then i was interestingly also questioned by the interviewer at my current role about okay. the same thing that how could you do all of this at such a junior level well i was fortunate enough to work at a very small company so i could get responsibilities that people 
you know, oh, five mm. years experienced people, ten year experienced people would get. Yes, yes. So that end to end responsibilities. Was... Let's say yeah. you know, uh, as you yeah. said, developing end to end and even seeing some outcome. Uh, result yeah. because of this and you got questioned in interviews because of uh, I mean on that right. amazing I mean that must be a central point in your interview of yeah. convincing them that you can grow in the uh, I mean you're joining a bigger organization now so growing in that yes amazing amazing and uh, d- did this work for you inbound calls this current company uh, got you or found you online yes yes so the recruiter approached me, uh, another recruiter from a equally big company in Ahmedabad had also approached me, but the department, the role wasn't something that I was okay with. So sure, sure. Good to I have still options. Attended the, yeah. Good to get options. Yeah. <laughs> from that's them. a good problem amazing. to have. After. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Uh, yes, this will be uh, this video will be seen by many of our champions and people outside champions group. If right. you are now, even though you are junior to many of them, but yeah. but still you achieved uh, a milestone. So, if one mantra you could tell them that do this or don't do this in a short, say, I mean, maybe one sentence if you can say that. Well. Uh... Most so what I'll tell you what worked for me and then maybe that would help. So I was able to identify where I lagged, which the course helps you with a lot. So the troubleshooting bit, yes, at the start of the course is very important. Don't skip that. That that is where you'll identify where the problem lies, and then the rest of the course is just designed to help you solve those problems step by step. So for me, when I identified those problems, it was basically with my resume and the kind of applications that I had sent out because I was sending out the wrong apl- applications as well before something that my CV wasn't matching with at all. So the JD and the CV were very different and i had still sent it out just because the opportunity was good. So that was just silly on my part. So I learned to not do that. And then I started to trust that people, that my profile is good enough. And then people will reach out to me if I present it to them in that manner. So that is what the course taught me that, that I should just put my best foot forward, that I know what I am capable of, that confidence that I was lagging also because of so many rejections before. I think mm-hmm. that's where the course helped me the most. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Uh, my best wishes, yes, to the next Thank company. You. You're joining very reputed company and yeah. it is creating vaccines for all of us. So your yeah. work indirectly is creating massive Healthy. impact. So glad yeah. to see you going there. Uh, and of course, m- many of the skills we learn during the program will continue to help you in your career growth. Yes. Of course, you are part of our champions group for life. So if another champion reaches out to you looking at your biotechnology profile or anything, I'm, I'm sure, sure you will help them, right? And we'll continue to sure. stay connected Always. with each other. Yes. Always. Thank you so much for coming and coming on this seat and sharing your experience so openly and best Thank wishes you. for your future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the advice. Thank you for the support the community has given me so far. Not just Harshad, but all of the community. When I needed help with my resume order, there were many people who helped me. Okay. Amazing. So, yes. I'm yes, great, great to have this community. Although I'm not very active at the minute because I'm on onboarding and stuff, but I'll soon be back on that as well. Yes. Yes. Yes.